Once upon a time in our feedback system that we used, we used to have love, great, okay, and poor as those like four smiley faces that you click on. And one of the businesses that we looked after said that they couldn't give us the love feedback because of their religious beliefs. And that love should only ever be used for when you really mean it, you know, with someone that you truly love. I mean, my mind boggles because they must have a super, super fun life. Halo and pretty much every CSAT tool out there has a problem that many MSP owners are actually missing and one that is limiting the amount of feedback that you can get from your clients. You see, the biggest problem with pretty much all of the CSAT tools out there is that they use those three, maybe four smiley faces, which are all images. And of course, by default, most email clients don't load external images. With Microsoft Outlook, you have to add them to your safe senders list or keep kicking the show images button. And it's a similar story with Gmail as well. So there are two ways that I'd suggest to fix this. Firstly, if you're in a Windows environment, then you can just push out a policy to all client machines that adds the corresponding you know, email addresses to the safe senders list. So in future emails, they will open up with those smiley faces showing they can click on them, you know, provide you with their feedback. Of course, you can't do this without Windows machines and anything outside of the network you look after, you don't have control over. Now the other option here is to just switch those images over to something else, be it emoji faces or just text links. So for creating the policies and depending on what tools you're using, you'll need to of course find the best way to roll out those safe sender policies out to your client machines and you know, should be a huge problem for you being the MSP and you should have that level of access to the networks to configure it. But that first option does have a significant benefit because now you get to keep your images and with some images you can have some fun, you know, Christmas, Halloween, Queen's Jubilee. You can always and very easily switch out those images for something that's more relevant and possibly more likely to be clicked on because of their relevancy. The second way is to switch out those images for something else. And I'm gonna show you this in Halo by going to configuration, ticketing, surveys. And if you scroll down, you can head to the customize dollar feedback all variable. Click on here and you'll see the default feedback with all those faces that you're currently using. And here you can make your edit. So I've just deleted everything and then added a table and added the emojis that I wanted to use and then added the text, of course, to you know say whatever I wanted to say in those. And Halo actually makes the links really, really easy for you. So for the best feedback, it's $feedback1, which is the short code, which then puts the full URL in. The next is $feedback2, $feedback3, and feedback4, mega easy. And if I just remind you of the story earlier that I opened up on about using the word love in our CSAT tools. So use whatever words you want to use, but it's worth just giving that a bit of thought. Maybe sticking with something like great, awesome, good, okay, and poor, something like those. Or go with whatever flair you want, like love, awesome, super, whatever you want to do here. But once you've set this up in Halo, you'll also want to go into each of the email templates, which you can do by going into configuration, email, scroll down to email templates, and then find the email that you want to include your CSAT tools on and just include a dollar feedback all variable. Then that will bring in the whole feedback section that you've just designed. Now here I've just got an email template that we provide to all of our course members. So I just want to go into this template and add it in here. And then any new ticket closure emails that go out to customers will get that new feedback option as an option. Now doing this, either the first or the second one, will dramatically increase the numbers of unique pieces of feedback that you get day to day. And once you've got some regular feedback coming in, I'd suggest you go and watch this video next, which will explain how to convert those pieces of feedback into Google reviews completely automatically without you having to do anything. And I'll see you there.